Our goal into building quantum field theory is to merge special relativity with quantum mechanics. That will allow us to describe processes in which particles disappear and are created, like in the electron-positron collisions, uh, annihilating and giving a muon and an antimuon. Don't be confused by the direction of the arrows uh, for antiparticles. This is just a convention. Time is moving from left to right, and the particles, like the antiparticles, propagate forward in time. We use this reaction uh, as a guide to build our quantum field theory, because, as we will see later, this is the simplest elementary particle physics process we can think of. However, uh, this already involves quite advanced objects and advanced fields, um, and so far we have only looked at the simplest possible field, which is a case of a real scalar field. So we have been developing real scalar field theory. In this theory, phi is a Lorentz scalar, meaning that it takes the same value uh, in any initial frame. We define an amplitude of probability for the field to go from vacuum to vacuum over an infinite time. But instead of using an evolution operator with a Hamiltonian, we used many path formulation of quantum physics. Where the action is a space time integral of a Lagrangian density. And in order to probe uh, our system, we decided to break uh, space and time uh, translational invariants using a source. The Lagrangian itself contains all the symmetries of the system, so in particular, space and time translational invariants um, are encoded inside the Lagrangian. So we build the Lagrangian for a scalar field. The first term is quadratic in time derivative and is associated to a kinetic energy. The remaining part is a polynomial expansion uh, of the potential energy where we choose the reference for the energy and the field amplitude uh, so that we only start the polynomial expansion in second order in phi. So far, the coefficients in front of the different terms of the expansion are just uh, arbitrary uh, constants. However, we will soon see that uh, the first one, the quadratic part, uh, corresponds to a mass. Uh, 